In this video, I'm conducting a very interesting pair of tests. Um, I'm in the City Rover. I've got about 300 miles to cover today. 200 miles to the first car, and then I'm driving 100 miles up to shoot the second car, car tomorrow. Uh, should be very interesting times. Uh, I think this is the biggest trip I've done in the City Rover since collecting it. So um, we're certainly going to be covering the miles. It's starting to feel slightly bad, but I've not even done an oil change on this poor thing yet. Um, it's the first thing I'll do when I get back from um, New Zealand, honest. But yeah, stage one, a quick 200 miles to um, uh, the south of England. Okay, I might as well admit it. Um, the first car I'm driving today is, um, it's the Austin Ambassador again. Uh, you may have noticed that part two had sort of gone missing. I think I will have published it by the time you see this vlog. But um, yeah, uh, whoa, watch out squirrel. Uh, the, uh, I, I have absolutely no idea what happened to the video files on the Ambassador. Uh, I can only assume I must have accidentally deleted them from the phone that I'd recorded it all on before actually putting those files on the computer. And unfortunately I then recorded more stuff on that phone so it's not like I could undelete it. Um, yeah, I'm an idiot. And uh, having to drive 200 miles to um, shoot it again. Which at least means I can address some of the comments in the first video. So an unexpected opportunity, uh, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm still not awfully good at this video, Lark. But uh, I'll try my best. Uh, we're just coming down to Bilth Wells. To the left is the enormous showground where the Royal Welsh Show takes place every year. I'm still not entirely sure what the Royal Welsh is, really. I think it's just a chance to show off all the goodness of Wales. Uh, which is fair enough, really. All, all the stuff, uh, you know, all the um, agriculture, the, um, the uh, animals they breed here, the, the um, chocolates they make here. Mmm, chocolate. All sorts, really. This is just a problem we're getting around Wales. Um, for most of Wales, there are no motorways. So there are major roads, but the major roads go through little towns like this. And um, Bilf Wells is a very pretty little town, um, I must say. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does still slow down your average speed somewhat. It's very difficult to cover ground quickly in Wales. There we go, 33 miles to Abergavenny. Might grab some fuel there. Before hitting the motorway and uh, then we shall um, push on oh is that national speed limit signs it's in fourth gear 60 oh this is a world away from the Matiz I have to make your city rover feel better. Drive a day you matiz. So, a bit behind the scenes, um, I'm back where the princess lives. Um, filmed a few corrections, because I got a few facts wrong. I'm the test on that. I'm meant to be doing the ambassador again. It's just got back. Hoping it's cleared up, because it's been running really badly. Had to admit defeat. Um, cannot get the amb ambassador running properly. Um, it looks like the auto choke has jammed on it, um, but it's not a mechanical auto choke. Um, so we couldn't get to the bottom of what was going on. Um, but yeah, it was just, yeah, the spark plugs were black. So um, a slight attack of heritage there means, um, yeah, a disappointing um, conclusion. And, uh, oh, really irritating so i mean if you don't know i seem to have lost the original files when i first drove the ambassador no idea what happened uh, but needless to say um, the files weren't there when i went to edit the video and uh, i had a good search of the computer searched all the phones and no sign and uh, because i've used the phone to record further videos i think even if i tried using recovery software that, that, that they'll have been overwritten by now 
so that's um, hugely irritating so um, uh, I dusted myself off from that and drove 200 miles to the ambassador today and uh, and now the ambassador's not working it was running fine this morning the owner went and put fuel in it now all of a sudden it's not playing ball anymore it's uh, most peculiar uh, but yeah sometimes these things are sent to try us and um, yeah the, the joy of old cars is problems can strike to be fair I think that's the first time I've had a car outright refuse me um, on a test so there will have to be a third attempt to make part two of ambassador versus princess it will happen I can't guarantee it's gonna happen before New Zealand now but um, yeah I, I will definitely somehow get the video complete don't worry um, so now I'm moving on up to Coventry I'm stopping in Coventry tonight because tomorrow I'm gonna record the 50,000 subscriber video we're not quite there yet but um, I thought I'd better get it done um, because we might hit it very soon so um, yeah thank you all you subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet hit that button uh, it doesn't cost you anything just means you'll get told when my videos go live which is nice and um, yeah I, I picked a very special vehicle I, I'm really looking forward to it so um, next update will hopefully be from the Jaguar Classic Works so here we are we made it to the, um, the Classic Works uh, here is the City Rover sat next to a Mark II Jaguar and uh, the link here is that the City Rover was built by Tata. Tata is the company that owns Jaguar. Tata is the company that built that car and that one as well. Um, so it's um, a, a fitting vehicle for the journey today. And I'm here to drive something very special for the 50,000 subscriber video. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna have to wait. Well, that was certainly fun at the Classic Works. Um, got that video in the bag. You, you'll, you'll love it very forward to um, showing you that one. Um, just make sure I'm in the right lane. All very confusing. Um, yeah, where was I? Classic Works. Yeah, great fun. Now heading to um, uh, Staffordshire where I'm going to drive um, an Austin Ambassador for a change. Um, the main difference being that hopefully this one will work. Um, yeah. Not, 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 not going all that well this trip and getting through Coventry was just a complete nightmare um, yeah I'm a bit fraught at the moment but we'll um, go and get this um, ambassador tested We've got a little bonus video on filming tomorrow and then we can um, focus on getting home but there is a social to plan for well it's um yeah services dinner tonight and it was just a sandwich and a smoothie but I feel better for it but Han Solo has clocked up her 54,000th mile. So, well done, Han. That's as high as the fuel gauge goes, by the way. I've just filled up, and um, she's still doing sort of mid-40s MPG, which isn't too bad, but I've still got an hour to go to get to Sheffield to shoot um, a, a special extra for the um, 50,000 subscriber video, and then I'm finally gonna go home tomorrow. So, um, yeah, fun times. But yeah, quite a nice dashboard. People have been asking to see dashboards lit up. I filmed one earlier actually because it got so gloomy. I could actually do that. Usually I can't. Not even the switches down there light up. Good times. The rear wiper switch actually has a light. So when you turn it on, you get a light to tell you it's on. Which is all the good. Of course the fog light light is all the way down there. So you can't really notice it. And the same for the heated rear window, which hasn't got um, a cutout. But enough thrilling news, I must drive on. Sheffield this morning, and um, it's a bit of a damp old morning. So I'm just gonna always keep a spare what the fade in the car. They are very useful items. And uh, today we're gonna go and um, do another video, uh, which I can't tell you about yet. And then I'm finally gonna drive home. So it's gonna be quite a lot of miles in this here. Um, City Rover. Probably going to be about, well, it's going to be at least 600, I think, by the time I'm home. So, fun times. Very sunny 
here in Sheffield and there are trams and all sorts so there's all sorts of interesting stuff going on oh look at me and me working rear wiper um yeah so um right i'm gonna get get, get the day underway so it's a limited view because i'm still very much on the vlogging mode but yeah that's sheffield down there it is quite the city and it's kind of nestled in the hills so um, yeah it's um, quite impressive really i've never really done that much exploring in sheffield i'm starting to think that maybe i should wow 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 look at this for a change of scenery we are um approaching castleton in uh, Derbyshire, 17th century free house there. Oh, I haven't been here for a fair while. Oh no, we didn't have enough water for tea. That's, but look, look, top mugs, top mugs. All good mugs. Sean Keaveney on the Six Music, um, just to try and avoid copyright issues. But Jono drove the City Rover and he thinks it's, it is... Bloody awful. Oh. He, he does think the gearbox is um, going to fail because it sounds so terrible. The gearbox uh, sounds awful. But um, I think it'll be all right. It's got a beautiful gear change. Hasn't it? No. No, 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 it hasn't. It's, we we it's, went for a drive in that as well. That's so much nicer. So city, much nicer. The City Rover is compact, so it's all right on the narrow lanes. There um, we go, full of praise. The seat is like a park bench. Yes. Although Surprisingly it, comfortable, though. Maybe. It's, it's a nice colour. Oh, okay, there you go. It's a nice colour. And it is. Look how much nicer it is than this boring Xantia. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous metallic blue. 
So there you go. And now we're going to have a cup of tea and now I'm going to drive home. Sunshine and showers on the A38. Makes for rather um, interesting conditions. Still got about 110 miles to get home. Probably about two and a half hours of driving. Terrible spray. Glad of my new Bosch wiper blades. spectacular as ever. It's been a long drive but we're getting home. City Rope is still going strong. I can't say it's the perfect long distance vehicle. The gearbox is awful. It sounds terrible. The change is just nasty I've decided. The ride is too bouncy but um, it does actually eat up the miles quite well. Handles well enough. Uh, yeah, steering is a bit too quick, but it's fine really. Just the road noise, the ambience noise is a bit too heavy as you can no doubt hear. But yeah, well when I get back from my New Zealand trip, I really need to treat myself to something with um, a bit of waft. Little city cars are not ideal for long distance transport. This is the least surprising fact um, pretty much ever. Um, but yeah, I do need some waft. So um, we'll see whether I can achieve some waft in the future. Uh, before then, we've got the New Zealand trip. Um, I'm gonna buy something down there. I'm not entirely sure what. There's a few ideas floating around. Um, some touring of New Zealand, then off to Australia, repeat the trick, and um, making videos along the way of cars and sights and scene, scenes and whatever, everything. Really looking forward to it. Uh, only, only a little bit nervous. But um, yeah, there you go, that was um, a long distance run out in the um, City Rover. It's just uh, typical of my life at the moment, life on the road. So I shall say, thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you wish, shop if you wish, and I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.